Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over what is Nano Banana, how do I access and use it, what can it do, and if you stick around guys to the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you can use Nano Banana to create incredible anime transitions using first and last lane features with consistent characters to do incredible complex camera movements that were simply just not possible even a few weeks ago. So let's go ahead and start with what is Nano Banana? What am I hearing about? Nano Banana is the latest uh, nomenclature or nickname for the Gemini 2.5 flash image, their latest image model. This just came out a few weeks ago. Now, what Nano Banana is really good at doing is not only creating the images, but editing incredibly making incredible precise edits without changing the underlying you know theme or person of your image so what this means is that you are going to be able to do incredibly precise edits such as this example google gives like changing the shirt color on the man without changing anything else about him or doing things such as inserting objects into rooms just by chatting with Gemini. Google maintains the entire integrity of the people that are in your input images or what you're trying to do and allows you to manipulate the scenes with your consistent characters and incredibly easy as well as very fast as well as free. So that's what Nano Banana is. Let's go in and check out what it looks like, why we're so excited about this. Now, accessing Nano Banana is incredibly easy. You access it at gemini.google.com. You do not need a paid plan to access this. What I can do is to access Nano Banana is all I need to do is go in and click the Create Images tab. It has the little banana. And now I go in and type my prompt. Now, I can do this in two different ways. The first is that flash image can create its own images. It's its own image generation model. I can ask for something like, give me a wide shot of a cozy cafe during the day in the city, realistic anime style, seen from the street. So here's our scene here. We've got our anime people outside. It's got our little cafe sign. It's got a little daily special sign. I think this looks pretty good and it used our realistic anime style. The power of Nano Banana isn't just in its ability to output an image to you. But the power of Nano Banana is in the image editing. So let's say that I want to add a little open sign hanging from the door. All I would need to do is say, can you add an open sign hanging on the door into this picture boom you can see it put our little open sign in here what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put both of these images on the screen so you can see just how good it is at inserting what we wanted without changing the overall uh, theme of the scene or any individual elements this means that you are able to create consistent scenes and edit them very quickly without you needing to go in and try and do this in photoshop maybe for our next scene now we want to have a man opening the door so can you add a man in a green suit opening the door walking into the cafe boom and now it added in our man with the green suit with the open sign the rest of the scene is completely consistent this is really incredible guys like you what you're going to be able to do is essentially take characters and insert them into scenes very quickly. So this is the power of Nano Banana. Now let's take this even a step further. But I think the true power of this platform comes when you use external dedicated image generation platforms like Mid Journey to get super cool scenes like this. Like, like here's Mid Journey's take um, on our cafe with our open door here. And if I go back into uh, Gemini here, and I create a new chat and I paste our new image. I don't just have the ability to edit the images that Gemini gives for me. I can edit any image at all created anywhere, whether I take them with my own camera or I generate them on an external platform like Midjourney. So now I have my scene here from the cafe and I could edit individual images like that. Or I could say, give me a shot of a woman sitting at a bar in this cafe from this scene sipping a coffee use the same anime style as this image and what gemini is going to do is it's going to take our input image here and now we're going to be able to create the second keyframe and now i've got my second keyframe of the woman sitting in the bar from this scene using this anime style so now I've got one keyframe and the second, and now I could go in, I could, I could manipulate in Nano Banana. You know, she has the cup down, she's wearing a red sweater, all sorts of cool stuff. Let's do that now. Let's make her wear a red sweater. Can you change the woman's sweater to be red, please? And now she's got a red sweater on. 
I just did that in 20 seconds, guys. Incredibly, incredibly powerful. Now, the power of this tool comes when now we can use these types of images or keyframes to create transitions. So if we think about what's next, we've now been able to go in, create images, edit them, create different keyframes for, for specific scenes. And now what I can do is I can go into a tool like Kling and use the first and last image generation functionality to now create scenes. So we have our first frame and our last frame. And how you do this on each platform is going to be different, everybody. But I'm just covering Kling for right now. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to say the camera pushes in from the street inside the cafe to show the woman in the red sweater sipping on her coffee. 2D anime style. And then I will hit generate. And I'm going to give it 10 seconds, a little time to breathe through the transition here. And I'll hit generate. Now, let's see here. Remember, we had our first frame. We had our last frame, as denoted up here in our two keyframes. I'll hit play. We asked the camera to push in. We created these keyframes in Gemini. And you can see here what Kling did is just beautifully pushes the camera smoothly through the door. And now we have our anime woman sitting at the cafe, taking a sip of her coffee. Exactly what we asked for. The style remains consistent. When I think about why this is so cool is that you're going to hit and create incredible you know images of what your characters are doing but with ai image generation your ability to then keep this entire scene consistent but then switch the camera angle um or had the character doing something else has been a pain um and historically it's been almost impossible to keep everything completely the same and then also you know maintain character consistency in the same scene with Nano Banana, you're going to be able to take an image like this, change the camera angle, have the character do different things while maintaining the integrity of the scene. And when we have those two things, and then we have the advancements of tools like Kling, like Mid Journey, allowing you to do first and end frame uh, video animations, your ability and control as an AI director, whether you're using anime or realistic images, is now um, pretty much unparalleled. You have an incredible amount of control and you are going to be able to do some really cool things. The sky is the limit. This type of technology is only getting better every single day. In a couple months, we'll have something new that will make this even better. Now is the best time to be starting creating if you've ever had a dream of wanting to make your own anime series make your own movie do whatever you want now is the time to do it and i implore you to use these technologies uh, to do that with that said everyone thank you so much for watching if you have any questions on how to use this technology or just general ai or anime um, production questions drop them in the comments below Please drop a like and sub to the channel if you found value from this video. And be sure to check out the next episode of my anime series, Order. Episode 3 is dropping in just a few weeks. I uh, put a lot of effort into this and using some of these new things. I've got some cool stuff planned. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.